than five years, one father has been seeking justice for the murder of his son who died during a gang shootout while he was at work. Tonight, that father is one step closer to getting justice after one of the shooters pleaded guilty to the murder. WMER 2 News' Janae Wright sat down with Scott McKimmy after the hearing this afternoon to talk about the latest developments. Janae. Brian McKemmy was working on a home in Frankfurt neighborhood when the shooting started. Now, according to the Department of Justice, the suspects were hired to murder the homeowner, but the person who died was Brian. August 7, 2018, Scott McKemmy says he got the worst call of his life. His wife called him and told him their son Brian was shot. Brian McKemmy ended up dying at the scene. Wednesday, Scott and his family sat in a courtroom while one of the shooters, Wayne Prince, a.k.a. Taz, pleaded guilty to their son's murder. I don't want to use the word closure. I don't want to use the word victory. But it's a beginning to an end. The beginning, Scott says he's been waiting on for five years. When he was asked if, do you want to plead guilty, he kind of hesitated. And we thought he was going to, like, renege on... So that was a tense moment. Wayne Prince, who was a part of a local gang called the Black Gorilla Family, or BGF, is now facing 20 to 29 years in federal prison for gang activity and the murder of Brian McKemmy. Scott McKemmy says he feels like it's not enough, and he is hoping the judge gives Prince more time. I feel like our family's already been sentenced to a life sentence with no parole, you know. I won't hear Brian running that back door and yell, hey, Dad, ever again. You know, uh, I won't see him have kids or just, it hurts. Scott also says when he was in the courtroom, he felt a wave of different emotions watching Prince's guilty plea. One of the strongest emotions, sadness. A parent should never bury a child, you know. And, you know, Brian may have been 27 years old, but he was my child. His message to other people who haven't experienced losing a child in a shooting. Don't take family for granted. You know, you'll, you'll never know. In, in the blink of an eye, it can all change. Everything you want, everything you thought you had time to do is just taken from you by someone that has no regard for human life. Scott says, but through all this, he never gave up hope seeking justice for Brian. And he says other families who have lost and, loved um, ones shouldn't give up either. I said back then, I'm not going away until justice is served. And I feel like today maybe it's starting to be served. And sentencing for Wayne Prince is set for March 26. Now, according to Scott McKimmy, there are two other people who were involved in the shooting, and they're both awaiting trial.